it is not a profit you are a father you must take care of the children that's the least you can do educational expenses food uh, is this lady is not not working she does not have the ability to work now she is at least ensured not with the help of a father and a brother children have been given an education otherwise the children would have been on the street stood the father of the lady comes with his uh, official car with red light and two jeeps police jeeps no please don't disturb me i have the facts even now would you ask me to would you direct me to pay the maintenance milad yes please read this milad they didn't want the father and the children to be met there was a campus selection she was selected by international uh, uh, company she was paid 150000 as admitted by them now they want to send this girl to florida usa and want me to pay 480000 per month is it logical is it ethical is it legal my lord what it shows it demonstrates it depicts your arrogance your egotism your despotism that's what you did for me otherwise why would i leave you i would have happily lived with you and this we would not have come to this position of sharing my income this is not relevant my lord you filed dowry harassment case against my mother my brother who died and his and his wife and children have to look after now now apart from that milan you went to domestic inquiry uh, domestic uh, violence act where uh, you suppress the matter that you have divorced me if you had told the matter that you are divorced section 12 of the domestic uh, violence act is not applicable when minors cannot say anything now she is 24 years my lord could she not have uh, telephone to me could she not have sent a message papa i am going for florida i want your blessings but still you want the 8 lakhs from me for marriage which is contingent there is no dispute on the amounts at all not a single dispute raised not with respect to the amount spent by us marriage expenses at 8 lakhs each to the children 8 lakhs to the children oh. uh, uh, 1 1,98,000 is for one year school fee one year's school fee and 3,21,000 lakh was areas of maintenance but the whole direction was that the court must consider what the maintenance amount is and make a determination there is absolutely no consideration and all the material lot has been completely ignored the last one. very well yes may it please you lord my lord uh, you are last may come to my repetition no before you proceed yes. where, which where, high court uh, in which case has directed to pay 3000 where is the order Honor is dated eighteen ten two thousand sixteen, my lord. Eighteen ten two thousand. Eighteen ten two thousand sixteen. Is it filed? It was a. It was. It is not filed here. In another okay. criminal case, it was ordered. It was a considered ordered, and the other party was also present. Three thousand each was uh, given to the child. It was thirteen years ago. At that time, that three thousand was very good amount. Now it may not be good amount, but I have paid up to. the age of their attaining majority i have paid up to date 6000 for two children this is one aspect of the matter then and what about the school fees and other things school fees is my lord maintenance is not defined anywhere in any book i have been making a research on this maintenance is not defined in any act family court act hindu marriage act maintenance act nothing it is by the rule by by procedure, by procedure by precedents by judge made laws we have come to understand that uh, maintenance is food tuition fees <coughs> and, uh, medical fees their transportation therefore the second order passed by the learned uh, trial court judge asking me to pay school fees is an in is a, an, a part of maintenance no before that therefore my submission is there cannot be a maintenance for transportation maintenance for food maintenance for fees that's my submission my submission is 3000 plus 3000 for two, two children no, or inclusive minute. of all this in a, in a criminal proceedings that order is passed when which year 18 10 2016 mm-hmm. 18 10 2016 16 one six hmm huh. This petition is filed. This petition no, is, is filed in thirteen. That criminal proceedings is not something about a maintenance. 
No, when uh, when when the petition is filed before the court, when the evidence is let in, court has to independently decide it. Uh, how much is the maintenance uh, yes. you are entitled? Yes. And after determining the maintenance, yes, then this much of amount the father is already paying. Yes. Deduct it and then fix the maintenance. Yes. But uh, that is not done by the court. No, my lord, it is not challenged. You are very much there for the past ten years fighting the case in the court, and you did not challenge this three thousand. Okay. Three thousand was agreed. Was ordered and I paid one lakh forty thousand on that date. I paid and there was no objection. You did not Sorry. file an application for modification. No. You did not file an application for ten years. The, without an without an order copy being on record either before the court below. I will produce or order. before this court. Yes, uh, ma'am. Now we are talking about something of six thousand, and but unfortunately, court below cannot say high court has asked in six thousand granted six thousand. So I will also do. Lord, this is an application. It's not like that. It's not like that. I am sorry, my lord. It's not like that. It was adjudicated. It was consented. Parties were present. It's not an ex parte order. We were present, and uh, from sixteen onwards till today, two thousand twenty-four, you have not raised your little finger saying that it is more or less. You must have. You should have applied for a modification, applied for enhancement. That is not there. That is what is called as acquiescence. You have accepted, and I have paid, and you have accepted also. Therefore, you cannot now go back and say. At this, after ten years in 2024, when the girls or, are no, when I've, the girls are drawing one lakh fifty thousand salary. Oh, no, my please sit down. I did please not interrupt. Down, you. I, I will take instructions from the no, court. No, please sit down. Please, please sit down. Tell me to my lord, this you have raised uh, when when the two children have become majors four years ago. When the two yes. children are earning one lakh fifty thousand per month, and they don't have courtesy to tell me that they are doing this. That day till 2024, my lord, these applications have been pending. And now it is considered saying simply on a statement made that three thousand rupees was paid by me, and therefore that is the amount of maintenance, and therefore nothing more has to be paid. You must not look at any of these voluminous evidence that we have placed before the court, pointing out as to what is the exact expense. It's we are not asking for profit, not here. It is not a profit. You are a father. You must take care of the children. That's the least you can do. Educational expenses, food. Uh, is this lady is not not working? She does not have the ability to work. Now she is. At least ensured, my lord, with the help of a father and a brother, children have been given an education. Otherwise, the children would have been on the streets today. And today, the father is saying, "I, I'll pay three thousand rupees. That is maintenance." Yes, yes, my lord. In two thousand thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, three thousand was a good, good money for me. Oh. I am not uh, uh, a businessman. I am only a software engineer. Your lordship may kindly permit me to say a few. Background of this, my learned friend has not stated any background. My lord, she is the daughter of a high court judge. He is the daughter of a tailor. Because he was a B graduate, handsome, simple man, honest man. You married your daughter with him, and from day one till today, you are harassing me. A small instance, I may bring it at the uh, request of this honourable court. There are many instances where I have been abused, humiliated, and thrown out. One small instance, you may permit me to submit. One just when Mr. Mujib was here, a registrar of this honourable court, he arranged this marriage. And when there was difference of opinion between the husband and wife, he tried for a compromise. A compromise meeting was arranged in a mask. This is the father of the lady comes with his uh, official car with red light and two jeeps, police jeeps. No, please don't disturb me. I have the facts. After all, oh, the maintenance is not about MCA, the father. I'm which sorry. Is based on the facts. Can't keep I am taking things. permission of the Sandra no, no, Court. Bring you to your no, kind notice. This, this, this how he treated the, me. This how you? How the wife also is responsible for this tragedy? Whatever it is, that would be considered in a case where she is a B.Sc. graduate. No, she is healthy. She must have taken an that. appointment and looked after her children also. And you have no. I. I would uh, now. Now your honour doesn't want to uh, permit me to say that. Uh, give this information or incident. I would request uh, my lord to see para number, page number sixty-four of my book. Would you? Would you even now? 
would you ask me to would you direct me to pay the maintenance milad yes please read this milad they didn't want the father and the children to be met there are incidents which my lieutenant will object and your lordship may also not uh, permit me i'll just read this milad this is an application filed by the lady the wife what they say is the honorable court may please to pass an order prohibiting the opponent petitioner me husband entering and visiting their children's and their any future schools colleges hostel of their future studies and visiting at their residence and from attempting to communicate in any forum whatsoever with these aggrieved children maina irfan so on so including personal oral written electronic or telegraphic contact yes in the interest of the protection and promotion of their welfare and healthy development and in the ends of justice fine words but butters no parents nips these are the words used by them what is the law about this i wanted to bring it to your lordship's kind kind the law is once the daughters do not want to engage themselves with the father do not want to maintain relationship with them they cannot claim the maintenance i would submit three judgments to that is it so they now never they had a contact today, with the day father day before yesterday there is a report they, of the uh, of my lord a counselor who was appointed in 2014 to ensure that the children meet the father and i have stated the report in my objection statement as to what was said and what happened and my lord i must point out to you what happened one night the mother and the two children were thrown out into the streets by the father and his mother and my lord on the street they were in the middle of the night they were on the street and thereafter my lord all of this problem happened so to make allegations and and in the petition my lord if your lordship see the kind of allegations made against his former father in law he accused him of murder of his own son where is the document where is the evidence these are all uh, right this see see my lord I, if my learned friend is father of the wife for every no 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 i think we are expanding the scope of the petition itself please Correct. come to the judgments which one you are relying on now my lord i, I now that he has submitted uh, about the uh, mediation uh, uh, visitation rights hmm. they did not honor the orders of the honorable court mm. they did not encourage me to meet uh, my children mm. because children were brainwashed yes the children were told that her, my the father is a devil father is a murderer therefore the fact that uh, i went to the director in the family court requested him to appoint a mediator to supervise the visitation rights i will just read a letter that mediator who was appointed to supervise the visitation rights has written a letter to the director i have not that what is extracted that type no 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 this is a letter by mediator who was appointed to supervise the visiting rights here two minutes one 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 second the respondent is not bringing the children for visitation as directed by the honorable court since last month last month also on last saturday of the month 25 10 i waited till 4:30 pm but they did not come today also they have not come request you to acknowledge these uh, absence so that i can produce some in the court this is by the deputy director mediation center this is the report he has given i have not produced it but i have got a copy i will produce it yes so everywhere they have frustrated me everywhere they have blamed me see if that was the case they inflicted on me this inferiority complex i am the high court judge's daughter i can send you to jail they she went to the extent of beating my old 80 year old mother it was at that time i did not throw her i took her in my car and left it in her house i did not throw them they are not uh, a small people to be thrown they are all educated and uh, influential they could they could she could have simply called a cab and gone this is a story they are making if your lordship permits me as your lordship said if this repetition does not enlarge the scope for uh, adducing all the facts that i have transferred in the trial court if only time is given i will be able to convince no, no, no. We'll what and the hardship i have gone through we'll, she is also we'll, let's a, look at the, a, let's look at the legal position now i'll come to i'll come to the points my lord yes number 1 first order 
the petitioner is hereby directed to pay an amount of 198397 to the respondent which was school fees this application was made before the trial court also that order i have produced trial court said this is not uh, permissible there is no law in the family court act to provide school fees because it is part of maintenance so it came to be rejected when this visitation rights was frustrated for about one year i came regularly to see my children they did not talk to me she was they were held back by the wife by the mother they are living with the mother so therefore logically uh, psychologically they will be moved towards the mother on that frustrated date i filed an appeal a memo and said i want to withdraw this gnwc the fact that i have applied for gnwc namely the fact that i wanted the custody of my children shows my bona fides and falsifies their case i apply for custody of the children you did not you went on proving the case for 12 years 13 years 14 years accusing me even day before yesterday you file an application and and say that i am this lady this first girl who is 24 years she wants she completed her be in uh, distinction there was a campus selection she was selected by international uh, uh, company she was paid 150000 as admitted by them now they want to send this girl to florida usa and want me to pay 480000 per month is it logical is it ethical is it legal my lord i may be pardoned to say this my lord this is they are trying to, for a ransom she married another uh, another uh, person who was 60 years retired deputy commissioner of income tax and she comes and tells the trial court luckily i am married to a rich man i am living in a big bungalow my children are looked after by them is this how you come to the court and say what it shows it demonstrates it depicts your arrogance your egotism your despotism that's what you did for me otherwise why would i have leave you i would have happily lived with you and this we would not have come to this position of sharing my income i am getting 84000 my lord per month i have my wife i have married again i have two children who are 10 years and 9 years old they are admitted to the schools and i have a widowed mother who is uh, uh, bound by wheelchair with all comorbidities i have to look after them when you file you filed 482 uh, dowry harassment against me no what, there what? my brother died no, that no. still is going on you went to domestic and uh, domestic violence uh, there is a maintenance matter what is wrong with the order passed by the court below please tell the court only on the merits of the matter because we do this not is not a... relevant my lord you filed dowry harassment case against my mother my brother who died and his and his wife and children have to look after now now apart from that my lord you went to domestic inquiry uh, domestic uh, violence act where uh, you suppress the matter that you have divorced me if you had told the matter that you are divorced section 12 of the domestic uh, violence act is not applicable when i went there and filed my appeal and brought to the notice of the court that when once divorce is there maintenance domestic inquiry is does not survey therefore they dismiss dismissal order they challenged it under section 49 89 went to the district judge and said the word dismissal should not be there it has become infructuous therefore four years i had to drag on this is the conduct of the persons now i'll come to the order my lord first order is 198000 which i submit with great respect is not exclusive of the maintenance Next. it is an integral part of the maintenance yes number 1 number 2 petitioner also directed to pay 321000 which i have paid arrears with uh, great difficulty i had paid 144000 in that criminal proceedings where 6000 was ordered by this honorable court yes later of this order i told my client this is arrears of rent i had admitted it and i had acknowledged it yes. i paid 321000 my lord that i have no grievance my lord the third one is the um uh, my important submission third one is petitioner is also liable to pay 8 lakhs each to the children for their marriage expenses this is uh, my important uh, submission nowhere there is maintenance order for the children 
especially for major children. No act enunciates, emphasizes, or orders, makes an order. There is no law asking me to pay marriage expenses, yes. number one. Number two, for a major children, for major children who is 24 years now, I do not know whether she will marry or not. It is only a hypothecated uh, version of the trial court. We don't know. It's a, it's a um, contingent uh, feeling. She may not marry, but still you want me to pay? It's, that is not my ground before my Lord. My ground before my Lord is a major daughter, earning daughter, is not entitled for marriage expenses. Mm. To uh, support, uh, I have produced three judgments uh, given the copy. The first page itself says, my Lord, Supreme Court holds a major daughter not entitled to education expenses from father as she does not want to maintain relationship with him. Yes. My emphasis is on this, my Lord. Yes. Even yesterday when I received this application by my learned friend, I called my client and showed it to him. He was only tears in his eyes and nothing else. No answer. Because she goes to, she passes B, she doesn't inform me. She wants to go to Florida, doesn't inform me. She is not a child. Minors here, mother will represent, no doubt. Minors cannot say anything. Now she is 24 years, my lord. Could she not have um, telephoned to me? Could she not have sent a message? Papa, I am going for Florida. I want your blessings. But still you want the 8 lakhs from me for marriage, which is contingent. I, I invite my lordship's uh, kind attention to Ajay Kumar Rathi. First judgment. Yes. Page number 9. Yes. Eight, 9. Hmm. Last but one para. Hmm. I have marked it, I think. Yes. In so far as the daughter's expenses for education and marriage are concerned, it appears from her approach that she doesn't want to maintain any relationship with the appellant and is about 20 years of age. She is entitled to choose her own path but then cannot demand from the appellant the amount towards education. We thus hold that the daughter is not entitled to any amount but while determining the amount to be paid as permanent alimony to the respondent, we are still taking care to see that if the respondent so desires to support the daughter, funds are available. Yes. My Lord, that is, in a case of permanent alimony for wife, that is what now my learned friend will bring in uh, uh, that uh, famous case, Rajesh case. Yes. She is a, a part of uh, alimony includes marriage expenses. That is alimony. That is a lump sum payment to the wife. Here wife is uh, already, divorced, already already having a... Yes, next judgment at page 12. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll read. Uh, this is the first judgment, my lord. Uh, then Second judgment, Bobby. I'll uh, bring it to a lordship's kind consideration. This is my notes. I'll just quote this. Just for uh, my lord's kind consideration. There is no straight jacket formula for fixing quantum of maintenance. A careful and just balance must be drawn between all relevant factors. The maintenance awarded must be reasonable and realistic and avoid either of the extremes, that is, maintenance awarded to the wife should, be, should neither be so extravagant which becomes oppressive and unbearable like arrears of maintenance, school fees, marriage expenses, for the husband. No, without Nor a citation, be... Mr. Counsel, without a citation, just like that, you can't read the notes, sir. Yes. Those are all the settled law. Now, as far as uh, on the merits of it, you have, uh, uh, you have advanced your uh, arguments. Court yes. has noted now. Uh, anything? Yes, I have. To. Yes. May I just, in Islamic law, what the position is, that a father is liable to maintain the daughter till she marries. May I just pass on that judgment, Malod? There are 9 and 10, Malod, at page 239. Yes. Uh, and finally, my lord, if your lordship sees 10, I'll just see 10 because 9 is the extract of uh, Muslim law. Yes. Thus, both under personal law and the statutory law. Para 10 at 240, 240. Yes. 
thus both under personal law and the statutory law the obligation of a muslim father having sufficient means to maintain his minor children unable to maintain themselves till they attain majority and in case of females till they get married is absolute notwithstanding the fact that the minor children are living with a divorced wife that's one and then lord uh, you also may kindly see the judgment in rajnesh's case check that as to what is his maintenance my learned friend asked saying there is no definition para 91 at page 375 yes living expenses of the child would include expenses of food clothing residence medical expenses education of children extra coaching classes or other vocational training courses to complement the basic education must be factored in while awarding child support albeit it should be a reasonable amount to be awarded for extra curricular coaching classes and not an overly extravagant amount which we will claim education expenses children must be normally borne by the father if the wife is working and earning sufficient expenses may be shared proportionately between the parties yes and in the previous paragraph my lord para 90.4 an able bodied husband must be presumed to be capable of earning sufficient money to maintain his wife and children he cannot contend that he is not in a position to earn sufficient to maintain his family as held by the delhi high court and so on and so onus is on the husband to establish with necessary material that there are sufficient grounds to show he is unable to maintain the family and discharge his legal obligations for reason beyond his control if the husband does not disclose the exact amount of his income an adverse inference may be drawn by the court court and so on and so cites the judgment and so on so the approval and held that the obligation of husband to provide maintenance stands on a higher pedestal than the wife and from what date it should be awarded it is from the date of the application that is what supreme court has said and lord he himself in his affidavit filed before the court i'll just please see page 57 of the petition lord what he has said yes of my uh, petition page 57 i'll just read two paragraphs more he says i am desirous of and capable of educating my daughters in any professional stream and i am desirous and capable of conducting and celebrating the marriages by meeting high end expenses with any good and high profile family i don't know marriage need not be with any high profile family it has to be with a good man yes that is when you give me custody that was the application for custody to... very i have stated i am ready to take care of them give my education to the best of my ability a tailor son cannot send her his daughter to florida he can send her to st john st john school or the national high school yes. Lord, I, I think, Lord, obligation of a father is to the children. Mother is not asking for, or the wife is not asking for money. I can understand all these allegations against the mother, but children are saying, "I have to be educated." Mother has taken money from the father and the brother to educate. Now it is your obligation to pay, and the entire expenses which we have listed out, and which Lord, your lordships will find, uh, which we have pointed out in the petition from page one hundred and twenty-seven onwards, has not been disputed at all. not a single question even in cross examination challenging any of it yes all of that no no actual expenses incurred we are not asking for anything more pay those expenses so the children are uh, at least the children have the money and we i repay my father and my brother and all these arguments not that he is a judge or whatever it he may be he is also a grandfather so he is undertaken that obligation of educating the children ensuring that they come to this level which the father has not and on 2014 onwards he is not even bothered to look at the children till now yes two important yes. things i forgot to submit before your lunch please sir this is in the between two so when a compromise meeting was held yes by a registrar of this uh, honorable court she demanded all the jewels the jewels that i have given to her the jewels that they have given to me and the gifts we yes, got to me petition if i am not mistaken gifts were friend. in plenty because a high court judge was celebrating his daughter's marriage everything she took it she did not bother to give me a single gift pocket and here is the acknowledgement for having taken jewels worth 500 grams which is now 30 lakhs it's not as if if i deny her this uh, marriage expenses she will be bereft of funds she has funds 30 lakhs is there available with her this is her yes. then second uh, important point that i forgot to mention with your honor's kind permission with lordship's kind permission your lordship may kindly turn to page 70 6 this is the application ia number 10 for maintenance has he spoken about claimed or prayed about the marriage expenses no application 11 for school fees 
has he claimed about the marriage expenses is there a law was there a pleading there is no law there is no pleading there is no prayer therefore there is no adjudication i was unable to answer that if he had pleaded this is most important in my respectful submission my lord that throughout the length and breadth of your case there is not an iota of mention of marriage expenses demanding it is a it is a uh, it is a trial courts uh, ambition trial courts feeling that it should uh, yes grant this matter yes uh, maintain it. the yes. marriage expenses Are is the purely uncalled for for the councils reserved great